So, Anil, what changes do you expect to see in financial services technology this year? I think the cornerstone in the Bango business is really built around one simple thing, which is the prevalence of this device, a mobile device. What this is clearly doing is it's giving people the ability to be able to engage in financial transactions of all kinds whenever they want at their convenience. And so we're seeing really a transformation from where banks and other services provide a financial facility and created a set of terms, conditions and operating hours, for example, under which people would have to go and conduct their financial uh, transactions. Now it's switched around. Now people are basically saying, I, I expect banks to deliver some financial institutions, deliver the service to me whenever I want, and I expect people to get it in the palm of my hand. So in our business at Bango, for example, we're seeing people buying the kind of content that you might have gone to a store to buy before, like a CD or a, a, a movie on a, on a video or a DVD, or you might have rented or you might have sent through the post. People now want instant on-demand content that they can buy and consume immediately. So for us, what we're doing at Bango is really transforming the way people can pay for things as they find it consumers on mobile devices. And consumers are getting more confident at, doing, at buying in that way? Oh, indeed, and not, not just confident, there's a higher degree of expectation now that they should be able to get what they want when they want and consume it in the way that they want. And that's also driving really quite interesting changes in the financial model. People are expected to pay less but consume more. People aren't expecting necessarily to have to purchase things outright and take ownership of, of goods and services. They're expected to be able to sample and pay in small increments. And so what we really need is we really need the internet to provide us with the financial instruments that allow people to pay very frequently and increasingly small amounts of money. And you see fintechs taking on the traditional financial services providers anytime soon, like the banks? Well, of course, there's all sorts of activity in how money is flowing, particularly, again, going back to the mobile device. And I think probably particularly in markets, a lot of UK companies are interested in this, and markets where traditional banking has touched fewer people. So I think that, that there is a, a clear transformation in the way that banking and financial transactions are happening. Um, and you're actually seeing some of that from banks. You're seeing Barclays with, with services like Pingit, realising people expect to be able to move money around much more freely and much more easily. How banks will respond, I don't know. Great. Thank you very much, Anil. Thank, Thank you. you.